Hello and uh, welcome to the Green Hour, my absinthe review show, um, where I'll be discussing different absinths as well as uh, um, paraphernalia and history and all sorts of things like that. Um, first off, for this first episode, we're going to do St. George, um, made in Alameda, California. It was the first uh, U.S. made absinthe, um, created since the lifting of the absinthe ban. Um, brandy based which is interesting considering most absinths are um, based on a neutral grain spirits as the main alcohol in it it comes in at 60 percent alcohol and um, as you can see it's a nice amber brown color as even though it's still considered a verit or a green absinthe um, it's as the, they say it's it's a very authentic looking absinthe. Um, let's get to it. Um, we have our very nice absinthe glass. As you can see, our nice little well at the bottom. Alright, so we pour in a shot. And I'll be using a broiler glass because um, I don't need sugar for this. It's really sweet enough where you don't need sugar. Hold on one second. And uh, as you can see, the glass fits on top of the, the brulee fits on top of the glass. And you pour in your water. You can see it drips, makes a very nice loush. Nice slow drips. There we go, as you can see, it's turned down very milky brown, almost a uh, Dirty water, almost a uh, rust color. I get uh, hints of uh, mint and um, a nice little citrus. <sighs> Fantastic, and um, this is one of my favorite absinths to drink. It's domestic, so it's, you know, not that expensive. Well, it actually it is rather expensive. I just checked on prices. Um, about runs about eighty dollars a bottle for seven hundred and fifty milliliters. Um, I'll put links over there to Bevmo. It's a nice site you could order um, online anywhere in the country. And um, like I said, I don't really need sugar for it. So this is usually what I like to drink when. Uh, with friends and mm. so yes, um, as you can see, great Laosh. Let's see, compare two colors. Yes, on the right we have uh, the original and now with water. A little bit of a lemon balm. Mm. It's really good. So. Uh, I'll continue to enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later. So yes, um, obviously, this is good stuff, and I recommend it highly. Um, thanks, and see you next time.